Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day for two reasons. Today I'm restarting a new vlogging season for 2024 and the second exciting news that today I'm going to the theater of opera and ballet to watch Nutcracker. So I so thought it could be a great idea to show you how to look elegant in such places because I visited so many of them and I could give you a great tips how to look upper class and feel like you always been in high society, you know the etiquette, you know how to look well, especially if you're going there with your date or your friends and you want to make a great impression. So keep watching if you don't want to look out of place and if you don't want to look like a peasant who never actually been uh, to theaters. So I will show you 10 great outfits and also give you an idea what a bad outfit is looks like even though some people they might think it's a great idea to wear it but in actual life it's not so let's go <laughs> So the first outfit is just elegant black pants with silk top and beautiful heels. This outfit is easier to pull together, it's very comfortable, it will be very comfortable to see it, nothing falls and you feel just like a sophisticated, nice, elegant lady without going overboard second look it's kind of a similar idea just with the white pants i just wanted to show you those looks for ladies who like comfort and uh, who has <laughs> lovely black or white pants it's easy to find it's uh, very easy to pull together here is also a silk top and um, and if you think you would feel uh, cold in theater also you can wear a jacket. So here is with the jacket and the heels are Valentina in the previous was Christian Louboutin. But it doesn't mean that you cannot wear simple heels. I just wear them to show you colors color combination. So with the light pants of course it's nicer. A lighter color heels with the black one, of course, like the black one would look nicer. So here is the second look. So my third look is gonna be the same black pants, but now with the black top. So it's a sleeveless top because this jacket is very thick and very warm. So if you're going to a theater in a cold country or you feel it's going to be cold inside, a jacket could be a great idea. And if you have such a kind of a fun one, even with the black top and black pants, it would make the whole sense. I wouldn't recommend to wear a ball gown to a theater because you would definitely feel out of place people um, look more casual most of the time, but they lead, of course, they dress up, but mostly is something like a silk cocktail dresses. I will show you the uh, skirts and cocktails um, as the next outfit choice. Look number four is with the pencil skirt. I think pencil skirts are amazing. Just make sure you choose something of like a nice interesting material, maybe with a lace. This is not exactly a lace, but it has a beautiful texture. And in this skirt you would feel very comfortable. I would highly do not suggest you to wear a mini skirt. You would feel yourself very awkward. You don't want like a dirty glances from like older people, from classier people. You want to 
look like you have a high class, okay? So I think pencil skirt could be a great option and everybody has, I guess, pencil skirt in a wardrobe. If you don't, then maybe it's a great opportunity to get one. And of course, don't forget about accessories. Here I didn't show many of them, but uh, check your uh, drawers and see which kind of necklaces, earrings, bracelets you have and what would suit the best with your outfit of choice. So my fifth look is with even more elegant and unique pencil skirt. It's much longer than any lens. It's very chic. It's very nice. <laughs> I got it at Uturqua. I think it's a Spanish shop. But I'm sure you can find like different pencil skirts at different places. So yes, yeah, this one I pair with the silk top, um, everything is closed, nothing falling apart, so you feel great, like sipping a glass of champagne at theater. So for look number six, I chose this beautiful, playful skirt. If you gain a little bit of weight, I find this look quite brilliant, because then you highlight your waist with the belt, and you feel very comfy to see it to walk in theater, so this is a very, very cute theater look. So for look number seven, I chose this beautiful princess dress. I think it's very elegant, it's very nice, it's simple, it's chic. So anything looking like a cocktail dress, I think it's gonna look amazing in a theater. The next look is just Simple black dress, as Chanel always recommended that a girl should have a simple black dress. And here I'm wearing it with boots. I actually went with this look to uh, Moscow Theater of Opera and Ballet, Bolshoi. And also <laughs> I took this dress to Venetian Opera. It's very simple and comfortable and you would definitely feel yourself like a beautiful, young, elegant lady. Look number nine, a very chic, elegant dress. I wore this look when I went to uh, St. Petersburg Theater of Opera and Ballet Mariinsky. And here I also pairing with the boots. Of course, you can pair with the heels, it depends on the weather and the place you're going to. The material of this dress, very chic, very nice. It's kind of like a tweed dress. And of course you can wear it with the jacket or, yeah, or just go like this. This one is actually quite warm material. That's why I wore it in St. Petersburg because it kept me really, really warm. And the same reason with the previous black dress. It's made kind of out of fox leather and um, yeah, it kept me quite warm in the theater. I felt very comfortable and elegant at the same time. And the last look that I would like to show you is this one. A dress, kind of like a pencil dress uh, with boots and a very elegant jacket that I recently got. I'm actually thinking to have this look because I never wore this outfit before and because I live in a cold country at the moment I really need to wear boots because I don't want to carry with me some uh, heels to change in this theater. So I think this would actually speak well and uh, this look is going to be so appropriate for uh, a little bit older age group. Of course, like for young ladies, it's going to be also very beautiful and appropriate. But, uh, you know, previous looks, maybe they're more useful. And this one is definitely very chic, very elegant and uh, very old money. <laughs> and also one thing I forgot to tell you that ladies don't forget to wear tights. 
So in this video, because I had to change uh, so quickly to show you all outfits, I didn't wear tights, but of course, before exiting your house, uh, going to the theater, as an etiquette, you have to wear tights. So with the light outfits, uh, you can wear a beige one. Actually, with all outfits, like with all skirts and dresses, you can wear a, like just a nude color tights and uh, with some maybe like black dress you can uh, wear like a little bit like a dark sheer like black sheer tights but yeah beige would be for sure like a nude uh, color would be appropriate now i want to quickly talk about a no no for the theater of opera and ballet so girls short dresses is absolute no for example this is kind of like looks like a great idea but it's just too short for a party or a date that's a great dress like to go to a restaurant for a theater it's a terrible idea because you would feel so comfortable sitting there flushing your uh, personal type of <laughs> things also like this uh, looks like a very chic also like tweed material but it's a terrible, terrible idea, even if you pair with this kind of top and wear it like under it. So if you even cover the top of it, it's just too short. You feel so uncomfortable. The same with the mini skirt. Mini skirts are absolute no, like absolute no. Also like a ball gowns. I mean, in some probably in Vienna, when you go for like a very, very special thing, maybe like a masquerade or <laughs> I don't know, somewhere like, uh, you know, it's gonna be like a ball and the outfits like a dress code is the ball dress code um, yeah if it's not a ball dress code written in invitation i think the cocktail you would feel way better because then you feel very comfortable to go also to a restaurant before or after the performance and the reason i'm wearing uh, my outfits a little bit down today because i know where i'm going like in my city uh, it's not a very very like a chic society of course there is like chic people but generally i will be like overdressed even wearing like these simple outfits because people i like i just could imagine like uh, seeing what i saw in the moscow the greatest theater of russia like in Bolshoi, like how some people were dressed or in dubai opera and ballet theater like the way people are dressed i just know i will feel very like comfortable very nice and uh, warm in case inside is gonna be like a bit chilly because it, it's still winter so this is the reason i wore a little bit more like simple look but um, yeah if you're going to vienna i guess like or maybe uh, paris opera and ballet maybe you can like wear it a ball gown i'm not really sure uh, just like from what i saw from the places i've been uh, even like in italy people dress like like nice but not like just like nice as you're going for a dinner not like overboard nice not like you're going uh, for a wedding nice uh, yeah if you would be in a 19th century that would be a great idea or 18th century by the way regarding the centuries actually now i'm watching or like already watched an amazing tv show it calls gilded ages if you haven't watched I highly recommend you to do if you watched don't forget to write uh, comments down below what do you think what's uh, your uh, favorite uh, characters there um, I like I, I'm not gonna reveal maybe we talk about this uh, later in some other chat but yeah let me know who you admire the most so I'm almost ready to go to the theater and I'm taking you with me I just need to clean up uh, this mess that I created and I'm taking you with me to watch a nutcracker or at least have a sneak peek of it So as you can see, I changed my outfit idea. <laughs> okay. 
So the first part is over, it was absolutely amazing. As I said, the style of people who come here is far from stylish or chic, but yeah, the show in itself, but the ballet in itself uh, so nice, the rats, uh, <laughs> the nutcracker was the funniest one. I'll try to add some clips if I can find on their official page because here is not a lot to record and I didn't get a chance to actually. By the way, this is our box. So me and my parents are sitting on those like three seats. I'm sitting here. A very comfy place. Absolutely love because here, yeah, this is where the ballet dancers are.